Hey, what's up everyone? This is Seth from Heartbreak Garage. So when I was doing my angle kit install, I had the Ackerman adjustment all the way in and I had it at about uh, zero toe. I had quite a bit of thread sticking out of the heim joint and the inner tie rod. So there's probably only about a quarter inch of thread inside of this uh, tie rod adjuster and maybe a quarter inch inside of here. Uh, I previously had my tie rods cut for the vet nuts kit. So in order to feel safe, I want to have more thread in here. Um, so I looked up the size of the inner tie rod. Um, this is M14 by 1.5. And where it screws into the rack, it is M18 by 1.5. So I was searching online and I found that these tie rods are actually two inches longer and they're the exact same size. So this is the vet nuts one I cut. This is a stock Corvette tie rod. And these are actually 1999 to 2000 Sierra, I believe, uh, tie rods. So these are the exact same on both ends and these will extend your tie rods about two inches. So if you are looking for extended tie rods for your Corvette, um, that's definitely an option uh, if you, if you want to have more thread inside of your tie rod adjuster. Uh, I believe there was also a tie rod from a uh, Ford Taurus, I don't remember what year, it's about half an inch to an inch shorter than what these Sierra ones are. I got the Silverado tie rod installed on the other side. I have the steering wheel straight. So on this side with the Silverado tie rod, I'm at pretty much zero toe in. Um, and then I have the Heim screwed all the way in and I have the tie rod screwed as far as it will go inside of this tie rod adjuster so it looks like i'm just going to cut about a half inch off of this tie rod and we'll be all set um so i still have the ackerman adjustment at four uh, after i do the half inch cut on the tie rod i will move the ackerman adjustment to zero and then we should be all set all right, one more real quick thing I would like to note is the Silverado tie rod doesn't have the notch for the boot to sit in. So the boot might slide a little bit, but that shouldn't really cause any issues. Uh, I'll probably put a hose clamp here so I can tighten it a little bit tighter than this spring clamp will get. And then hopefully after that, it won't slide anymore. And then I also forgot to mention the part number for this Silverado tie rod. Uh, here's the part number, ES3489. I cut about a half inch off of the inner tie rod so that leaves me with about three inches of thread on this side I have it adjusted to where I have a little bit of toe out maybe no toe out um, and then I have about an inch and a half of thread inside of the tie rod adjuster and then on this side where the heim joint is I probably have about a half inch inside of the tie rod adjustment with the Ackerman adjustment at zero. So it looks like these inner tie rods are gonna work out pretty good. So we have the car back from the alignment shop. I uh, went with five mils of toe out in the front. So as you can see, we have plenty of thread left on the inner tie rod and we have plenty of thread left on the Heim joint. So if you're looking for extended tie rods for the Corvette, I would definitely recommend the Sierra slash Silverado inner tie rods. If you like this video and you want to see more videos, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content.